to educator.com. In this lesson, we're going to be uh, putting the files together, and it's going to be a two-part uh, lesson here. But the first part here, we're going to just basically set up the, the home page, um, also known as the index page, and just get the, the box model set up so we can start um, seeing what the site's going to look like from what our previous uh, design plans were. So here uh, we're going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver um, and getting you a little more familiar of like what the power of Dreamweaver is and how it really can help you out, um, as as well as stylizing the sheets uh, using uh, CSS and using the HTML5 markup. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that um, as you go through this, uh, just you know, it's definitely we're, we're using one type of um, setup here, but the basic idea behind it is to. Um, follow along, practice as you go with uh, Dreamweaver or any other uh, uh, web editor that you can use. Um, it's totally fine. Um, we're just using the Adobe uh, software just because it's so widely, uh, widely used in the industry. Okay, so what we basically have here, um, I already imported in um, a few of the things already, uh, just like the image and stuff. And I'll go back through um, how we actually do all this with uh, Dreamweaver. And then we're going to go basically um, go back and forth between a CSS file and um, your actual your HTML and, and uh, CSS uh, text editor just to, that Dreamweaver has to go through and see these changes as they happen. Okay. All right, so what we do have is this is what we originally have. I have imported in, it's just a, it doesn't look um, anything like we have, but except for maybe a couple graphics. Um, but we actually need to format this, and, and really CSS is going to be the, the vehicle that actually does that for you. Okay, um, Okay. let's open up this dream here. Okay, now what and, and this is we're looking at the the design view of um, Dreamweaver, and it has a, a split view and a code view. So you'll be seeing me go between code view and design view, um, and then um, I'll be refreshing in the browser. And we're we have some um, files here, uh, the custom CSS files. What we're going to be using um, is what I already put a lot of the code in, and I'll kind of explain what's going on here. Um, definitely, I, I uh, this lesson is. Uh, you know, intermediate level, it's not definitely beginners. You want to take your CSS classes and uh, some basic HTML, um, have some understanding of what this stuff is. Um, it's pretty much repetitious. It, it, you see it over and over and over, and it becomes really easy after, after you've seen it a few times. But what we're going to do is um, definitely go in and set this up to uh, put the content in. So. Let's start now with uh, the actual source. So this is what you're seeing um, right now. It's just a bunch of text. Nothing's really formatted. And um, now I did I did uh, link the style sheet here um, with uh, Dreamweaver. This basically uh, made, basically is affecting this file up here. Anything I change in here, um, it's linked to this uh, document, and it's going to just change the content. Okay. So as you start off, uh, one thing you need to remember. This is the HTML5 uh, markup here. Um, what Dreamweaver does is it actually puts in the, um, uh, the HTML4 markup, uh, which is a little bit longer. So this is just the five. That's something you want to set up. Um, either or will work. So don't you know if you don't do it right away, it's not a big deal. Um, only if you're going to take advantage of what HTML5 um, has to offer. Okay, so what we basically have here is um, the basic markup. Uh, these are all HTML tags, your basic tags. Dreamweaver, when it opens up, it actually puts them in there for you. It's just the standard. Um, you're going to have your, your doc type, your head tag, um, uh, meta, title, and um, actually puts the styles in now with the newer uh, versions. And it gives you a body. Um, and it gives you your, your closing tags up down here. So the forward slash, uh, if you've taken the class before, is your closing tag. So anything that opens with a tag has to have a closing in order to be aff uh, affected. And it has to live in with, within those uh, tags. So and you got to keep them in, a, in, a, in order as well. So like you can't have um, an HTML tag uh, and then you'd have your body opening 
you couldn't put uh, HTML closing before you put it against body. So it has to kind of like, you know, you got one one and then two two with inside and three three. So you got it has to be nested inside each other properly um, without breaking the the order. Um, or else you're going to have a lot of weird errors and stuff won't show up.